Splicing wires? Oh, I already know how to do this. We'll just take wire strippers, strip the insulation, twist them up together, throw that wire nut on. Okay, well, we'll just take and twist the wires together anyway, get a bunch of electrical tape, start wrapping it on there like crazy, and... Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the beginning of this video where I showed you some really bad examples of wiring. And I'm sure that you guys have all seen those before. But this week, I'm going to be showing you three good watertight methods that you could use when you're wiring your boat, your trailer, or automotive applications. Guys, one of the biggest enemies that you have in regards to electrical wiring is water. And when you're wiring up electronics on a boat, you've got water all the way around you. So what we're going to be doing this week, I'm going to be walking you through three techniques that I use to create a watertight connection when I'm doing marine wiring. But you can use these on any DC circuit, such as boat trailers, automotive wiring, wherever you need to make a watertight connection. Let's go ahead and go over to the workbench. I've got everything set up. I'll walk you through all three methods and we'll be good to go. All right, method one is the heat shrinkable butt splice connector. Start off by stripping approximately one quarter inch of insulation from both of your wires being spliced. Now place the first wire into the butt splice connector, making sure it goes inside of the metal crimping sleeve. Use a crimping tool to crimp the connection. Now place the other wire inside the crimp connector and crimp using the tool. Pull the wires to verify that a solid physical connection has been made. Use a heat gun to shrink the connector. Move the heat gun and turn the wire to avoid overheating and melting the connector. Next up we have the standard butt splice connector with heat shrink tubing. Just like before we're going to start off by stripping about a quarter inch of insulation from the ends of both of the wires. Place your wire inside the butt splice connector and crimp using the crimping tool. Now you want to go ahead and slide a two and a half inch piece of heat shrink tubing onto the other wire. This will prevent you from forgetting to install the heat shrink. Slide the other wire inside of the butt splice connector and crimp it using the tool. Pull the wires to make sure that the connection is solid. Now you'll want to center that heat shrink tubing over the butt splice connector. And then go ahead and heat that tubing with the heat gun until it's nice and cinched down. The last method we're going to show today is soldering and covering with heat shrink tubing. Go ahead and start off by stripping approximately an inch and a half of insulation from the ends of both wires. Then slide a three inch section of heat shrink tubing onto one of the wires. Place the left wire over the right, cross them to form an X. Now go ahead and wrap that left wire around the right wire above where the cross is an X. Do the same thing with the other wire, wrapping it around the first one. And now we're ready to solder the connection. Use the soldering iron to heat the wire, not the solder, and apply rosin core solder to the wire. Solder will flow through the wire towards the iron, making the solid electrical connection. Go ahead and slide the heat shrink tubing up over the splice and use a heat gun to shrink the tubing down. Move the gun and turn the wire to avoid overheating and damaging the heat shrink tubing. All right, guys, well, that's going to bring us to the end of this week's video. I hope it's helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed it. 
If it's helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're checking me out for the first time, guys, I try to do a short tip video every Saturday that covers a fishing or boating related topic. If that's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and the bell. That way you don't miss any videos. Guys, that's all I got for this week. Take care. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.